The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number two, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 3rd of August, 1973, in London, England. Translation, the Supreme Person, Bhagavan, said, My dear Arjuna, how have these impurities come upon you? They are not at all befitting a man who knows the progressive values of life. They do not lead to higher planets, but to infamy. So, in this verse, the Vyas Dev is writing, of course, the, the speaking is through Sanjaya. And the original writer is Vyas Dev. For in other slokas, he writes Arjuna Uvaj, Sanjaya Uvaj, like that. Similarly, he could write here Krishna Uvaj. He could write, no, he is writing Bhagavan Uvaj. So, Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. By this writing it is established, see Bhagavan Uvaj. He cannot be equal with Arjuna or Sanjaya or anybody else. Asamarka, Bhagavan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is supreme. Nobody is equal to him. Nobody is higher. Everyone is lower. That is the meaning of Bhagavan. Nobody can claim I am Bhagavan. But nowadays there are so many rascals that are claiming that everyone is Bhagavan. So that there is mistaken. Actually, these Mahabadi philosophers, they are so great rascals, they sometimes say like that, that Bhagavad is also mistaken. They have got the audacity to say that they, he is accepted as incarnation of Narayan, who has given us the Vedic literature, so many books he has given, the Vedas, the Puranas, Mahabharat, Samadha Bhagavatam, Vedanta Sutra, everything is given by Vajdev in writing, and he accepted Narayana, uh, incarnation of Narayan, Mahamuni Krite, he is also bash money, but he is also said Mahamuni Krita. So there cannot be any mistake in the words of Vyasa. This is the difficulty if one does not come through the channel of disciple succession. So they are in so many ways mistaken. Vyasa is above all this. He is not an ordinary writer for material description, for material name and fame. He cannot be mistaken. As Bhagavan, Krishna cannot be mistaken. Similarly, Vyasadeva, incarnation of Bhagavan, he also cannot be mistaken. Neither devotee of Krishna can be mistaken. Devotee of Krishna, he does not say anything as his own opinion. He never says. What Krishna says, he says. He may be not perfect, but what Krishna has said, that is perfect. Therefore, a pure devotee who does not say anything beyond which was spoken by Krishna, Therefore, his statement is also without mistake. Common man within this material world, he commits mistake. Clear is human. Even big, big personality, they commit mistake. But Narayana Para, he is transcendental. Krishna is transcendental. There cannot be any mistake. There cannot be any illusion. Those who are within this material world, they have got four defects. They commit mistake, 
they are illusion and their senses are imperfect, Brahm Pramad Vipulis, and they are cheaters because they are trying modern day scientists and philosophers. They propagate so many branches of knowledge. But when on the crucial point they are caught, they say, I, I, I do not know perfectly. I do not know perfectly. We are trying to know in future, we shall tell you the perfect. But if you are not in perfect knowledge, why should you take the post of a teacher? If your knowledge is imperfect, then whatever you speak, that is imperfect. Therefore, with imperfect knowledge, why you should become a teacher? That is cheating. That is cheating. Therefore, purposefully, Vaisdev is writing, see Bhagavan was. Where there is no cheating, no imperfection, no illusion, no mistake. No mistake, no illusion, no cheating, and no imperfection. This is Bhagavan. Why you are taking Bhagavad Gita so seriously? There are so many other books we can read. So many theories, so many philosophers, big, big philosophers. But we cannot take them because they are defective. The author is sure to commit mistakes, he is illusioned because his senses are not perfect, therefore imperfection. So with all these defects, we cannot accept anyone's knowledge. This is basic process. This is called parampara system, disciplic succession. We receive knowledge perfectly from the Supreme Bhagavan. And if I receive the knowledge from Bhagavan, and if I distribute the same knowledge as Bhagavan has said, without any interpretation of my cheating policy, then the knowledge which I distribute, that is also perfect. I may not be perfect, but the norm from Krishna, if I present it as it is, without any interpretation, then what I give you, that is perfect. It is very easy to understand. I have given several times. Just like a pure has brought a money order for you, thousand dollars. So he is giving you. So you cannot say, oh, here is a pure, he is a poor man, how you can give me one thousand dollars? He is not giving. The money is sent by somebody else, he is simply handing you. Therefore Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Amaradhyaya Guru Hayya, Taro Sarvati, Taro Aidit. He is asking everyone to become a spiritual master. So how everyone can become spiritual master? A spiritual master has sufficient knowledge and so many other qualifications. No. Even without any qualification, one can become spiritual. How? That the process is, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Amaradha on my order. That is the crucial point. One does not become spiritual master by his own wings. That is not spiritual master. He must be ordered by superior authority. Then he is spiritual. Amar Atma. Just like in our case, our superior authority, our spiritual master, he ordered me, just try to preach this gospel, whatever you have learned from me, in English. We have tried it, that's all. It is not that I am very much qualified. The only qualification is that I have tried to execute the order of superior authority. This is the secret of success. Vyavasātmitā buddhi reki ha kurunandana bahu sākā janantāsya buddhi abhāvasāyinā bahu sākā anantāsya. 
बहुत आदमी का रूप थी निश्चय आदमी का रूप थी ई पाना है स्पॉट अनफिंचिंग फेथ इन कृष्णा एंड गुरु गुरु कृष्ण कृपा वी आर टू रिसीव मासी बोथ फ्रॉम द स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर एंड कृष्ण वी कैन नॉट जम्प ओवर टू कृष्ण देर इज एन एन नॉन्स वी मस्ट अप्रोच कृष्णा थ्रू गुरु देट इज परंपरा शिष्ट कृष्णा इज नॉट सो चीप थिंग दैट यू कैन जम्प ओवर समबडी से वही सर आई एक्सेप्ट गुरु आई कैन अप्रोच कृष्णा डायरेक्टली नो कृष्ण डज नॉट एक्सेप्ट सच मग भक्त्या पूजा भूमिका कृष्ण से फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू बिकम डिवोटी ऑफ माय डिवोटी चैतन्य महापुरुष है गोपी भक्त पद कमल दास 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 आनु दास आई सर्वेंट ऑफ दर्वेंट ऑफ दर्वेंट ऑफ कृष्ण दिस इज कॉल्ड परंपरा यू हैव टू लर्न हाउ टू बिकम सर्वेंट ऑफ दर्वेंट ऑफ कृष्ण द मोर यू बिकम In the lower position, servant, 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 hundred times servant, servant. Then more you are at work. Here in this material world, everyone is trying to be master of the master. Just opposite. And the spiritual, the endeavor is to become servant, servant. This is the secret. Just so devi para bhakti, jatha devi, tatha guru. तो सही थे कथिता झड़किया प्रकाश हंते महात्मा दिस इज बेबिक इन स्टैंड तो विश्वनाथ चक्रवर्ती ठाकुर इन कनेक्शन विद विभाष दवसात्मिका बुद्धि रे के हूर्ण न निश्चय आत्मिका बुद्धि तो विश्वनाथ चक्रवर्ती ठाकुर से दट इज इंस्ट्रक्शन व्हिच आई हैव रिसीव फ्रॉम माय स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर दैट इज माई लाइफ एंड शो This is called nishchatma bodhi. Means assurance. Whatever I have received the order from my spiritual master, that will give me salvation. Or even no salvation, it doesn't matter. A real devotee, a servant, does not expect anything, but kajam. It is my duty. It is my duty. If one takes in such spirit, on our side the karma falam, karjam karma karo, tijo. Karjam, karjam means it is my duty. It must be done. That's my duty. Without any result, on our side the karma falam, karma falam, every action there is a result, bad or good, it doesn't matter. There must be some result. So on our side the karma falam. Don't take shelter of the result of your work. Generally we work. If the result is very good, then we like to work. If the result is not very good, then we don't like to work. On our side the karma falam. Karjam karma falu. Do not take shelter of your result of your activity. You must take it as duty. ई सन्यासी अनाशित कर्म फल कार्य कर्म करो भी सन्यासी इज एक्चुअल सन्यासी सन्यासीजिंग देश नो सन्यासी मीन्स इज टू वर्क फॉर कृष्ण विदाउट टेकिंग शेल्टर ऑफ द रिजल्ट इट डज मैटर कृष्ण हैज ऑर्डर एंड कृष्ण से प्रेजेंटेटिव हैज ऑर्डर देर फॉर आई टू डू इट कार्य कर्म करो सन्या सो हियर भगवान वाच बैस दिन डज नॉट से दट कृष्ण वाच इफ यू वुड हैव से कृष्ण देन पीपुल वुड हैव मिस अंडरस्टू इज डायरेक्टली स्पीकिंग भगवान वाच द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड एनी वन हु इज इन पर्सनैलिस्ट How he can understand what what we are? Bhagwan means person. Bhagwan is not in person. The absolute truth is manifested in three features. 
ब्रह्म परमात्मा भगवान ब्रह्म इज बिगिनिंग इम्पर्सनल सर्वम इदम खुलु ब्रह्म बिगॉज दैट लाइक फायर फायर इज बर्निंग समवेयर बट इट्स हीट एंड लाइट इज इम्पर्सनल सपोज हियर इज बिग फायर दैट लाइक वी गॉट फायर प्लेस दैट इज इन वन कॉर्नर वेर द होल रो You are feeling heat. That heat is impersonal, but the fire place where there is blazing fire, there is personal. So impersonal conception is the offshoot of the person. That will be explained in the thirteenth chapter. Maya tato midam sadam Krishna says that everyone, everywhere, I am spread. I exist everywhere. How does he exist? By his energy. That energy is impersonal. But the supreme person, he is not impersonal. He is personal. Therefore, he says, "See, Bhagwan is not. Bhagwan means he is full with six kinds of opulence. He is a jar. The richest, the most famous, the most learned." the most beautiful the most strong and the most renowned he is bhagwan 